Welcome. This is part four, the final part of this special webinar on Pitching to Win. In the last clip, I shared some techniques that can help you create more impact in how you deliver your pitch. Now I'm gonna share with you some top tips from our Pitching to Win workshop so you can cultivate a winning mindset. Now, the sales success during the pitching process requires the pitch presenter to fully embrace a growth mindset. And this means that to maximize your chances of winning the business that you're pitching for and subsequent pitches, you need to be genuinely motivated by a desire to continuously learn and improve. And so I'm gonna share with you two simple yet really powerful mindset techniques that you can use before and during your pitch to set you up for success, especially when the pressure is on and you really need to perform. So first of all, embracing the right mindset ahead of your pitch presentation. So we would encourage you to try to establish a ritual that works for you, that utilizes your physiology and gets you into a relaxed state and a winning mentality. And this could include going outside, going for a walk, introducing some movement into your ritual, listen to some music if it helps. You could even use breathing techniques to help regulate your internal state and help you relax. You could try practicing your posture in front of a mirror, raise your arms above your head, or do a superhero pose so you can increase the levels of testosterone in your body and help you boost your confidence. You could try warming up your facial expressions, smile, <laughs> relieve some of that tension in your neck and your chin. You could even start talking to a favorite colleague uh, someone that you know is guaranteed to put you in a good mood before you go out and do your pitch. And everyone has different needs, but it's worthwhile experimenting and being tactical with your ritual so you can find out what really works for you and also find out what potentially could hinder your results. So now you're in a super resourceful state. How do you manage unexpected problems, rejections, failures along the way. And we would say it's all about trying to see the positive in every situation, despite how bleak some things might look. If the events around you determine your level of motivation, we call that the outside in approach to motivation. And so the key to staying motivated is to proactively decide irrespective of what happens on the outside, that you will choose to feel good and resourceful on the inside. This is called the, out, the inside out approach to motivation. And so rather than reacting emotionally to an obstacle, you can stay resourceful in difficult situations by using this really simple process, which is called E plus R equals O. So when you're confronted with a difficult event, the E, it's really easy in the heat of the moment to take this personally, get defensive, lose control, and then react the R in an emotional way. And so after such an outburst, you're left with a highly undesirable outcome, the O, where the problem remains unresolved and you potentially will have damaged that relationship. So in the future, when you're confronted with a similar situation, before you do anything rash, remember you have zero control of the event. So stop, take a breath, and then start with the outcome in mind. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve in the situation? And then go backwards to the response, the R. Think about what the most resourceful response would be that you need to be in, in order to achieve the most desired outcome. And so following this process, you can totally 
own your R. And you can diffuse emotionally charged situations and cultivate a more resourceful and positive mindset. Okay, right. So in summary, if you want to bring back the humanity to the pitching process and increase your chances of winning more pitches, the solution is pretty simple. Make use of persuasion techniques such as scarcity, loss aversion, anchoring and framing and also social proof. Consciously leverage your non-verbal communication, such as eye contact, facial expressions, vocal variety, and gestures in order to create an impression of executive presence to ensure high impact delivery. And then finally, adopt a winning mindset by getting into a resourceful state before your big presentation, and also use the E plus R equals O technique to maintain emotional control whenever you're faced with unexpected problems. We trust that you found this webinar of value. If you'd like to find out more about the range of pitching to win consultancy or training workshops, please do get in touch so you can start winning more business. Thank you. Bye for now.